Are you guys excited for the SpaceX launch? Yeah, well, oh yeah. Woo! Good afternoon. It's five past one. Uh, I've already had a lecture today. I had car first in the early morning and then I went to gym. And I'm going to another one now. I'm going to electronics and electricity. Today is the Falcon Heavy launch. Half past eight South African time in the evening, but super, super excited. This is so important for SpaceX and the space industry as a whole because it's one of the most powerful rockets ever built. It's going to be the most powerful rocket in operation. And if they succeed in launching uh, Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster into space, forever it's going to have huge implications for the whole of mankind because it means we've got this super powerful rocket that we now can use to send up stuff to the moon to the space station and it's just going to propel the space industry even further forward some guys are coming over to watch it with me Elon Musk says on Twitter there's a high chance of it exploding like mid-flight or on the launch pad let's hope not it's also quite funny because when my dad was a kid in the 60s and 70s, he grew up with uh, the space race and the moon missions and the Apollo missions. And now, when I'm a kid, I'm a teenager, I'm watching SpaceX take giant strides in the space industry and watching SpaceX rockets and, uh, and Blue Origins and other NASA guys and Russians take huge strides forward in the space industry now in 2018. I'm so glad to be alive while it's happening. Okay, I mean, I'd also, I'd rather be alive when we've got USS Enterprises flying around and going to other planets. That would be also be incredible. But uh, I'll stay off for now, it's amazing. Yeah, I've got to get to this lecture. Funnily enough, the lecture I'm going to now is physics. And to go from the basic stuff we're doing now to launching rockets is incredible to me. And so, gives even more respect for what Musk and the team are doing. Look, noisy out here. So yeah, super excited to watch the launch. How's it? Physics first at the AE Auditorium. And then my electronics class as well. Huh. It's like the entire day of lectures is leading up to a enjoyment session at the end. My quads are burning though. This entrance of the varsity you have to be a car. How's it? Good thanks. Good. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, you are so friendly. Don't have a seat. Must be a first year lecture. Imagine working 11 years on this project. Dude, this countdown must be agonizing for them. It's agonizing for me! It's agonizing for us, but imagine if you actually worked on it and like... This was your livelihood on the line. And today's quote comes from Edward Teller, and it is, the science of today is the technology of tomorrow. Anyone want to place any bets? Do you know what? Yeah. As the optimists say, it will succeed. Musk said if it clears the launch pad, it's a success in his eyes. It is only a test launch. Clears so the launch pad. If it pad gets off the launch pad and doesn't damage the launch pad, it's a success in his books. I just want to see it get past Max Q and the, the booster separation. Come on. Come on. Get off the ground. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Clear the tower. Hey! Yay! 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 Whoa, holy shit! That is insane. Oh, that is oh, oh, oh. It actually went faster than the Falcon, hey? Fuck, it's going insane. Oh. <laughs> Look how fast it's already. 400 k's an hour. <laughs> come on, come on, don't explode, don't explode. Oh, that's so so and you know, two of them are reused, eh? Really? Yeah. Yes, this makes me proud to be studying engineering. The thing is launched! Here, yeah, comes, the, the here comes the main engine puddle. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Did they both? Oh my goodness, they both worked! Oh, that's so good. That is so beautiful. What? <laughs> engineering! <laughs> that is insane. Yes! yes! It is in orbit forever for a billion years! The primary objective of the mission has been completed. The thing is in orbit. Listen to the music. <laughs> oh, it's Space Oddity. Look at those happy engineers. It's gonna be us when we finish our degree. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely. Be an optimist like you were five minutes ago. Uh, I think it's a titanium goodness. This is the first time the thing has ever flown. 
And look at that, it's pretty good. Oh my god. But you know what? It's like the chances of it the next time they launch it and it failing like are quite high. I mean, rockets fail all the time. It's like well, even it's though the one bolt out of yeah. Like, so even though the first one is a, a success, there is chances of more Vulcan heavies in the future failing, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on! <laughs> what? What? No way! Oh, yes. No! Oh. Look at that! Oh, that's what it is! Look at it! Oh! oh yeah. I would like the size. Did they both land? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Come on! The last signal on the drone ship. That is a beautiful picture. I'm gonna put it up there. Beautiful. That was absolutely, absolutely insane. The rocket launched, it got the payload into an uh, elliptical billion year long Mars orbit. The two second stages poof, came back and landed at Cape Canaveral. For a test flight, it went perfectly. As I said, you know, they might not all go perfectly in the future. Uh, absolutely insane. Well done, SpaceX. Well done, Musk. It's just even more motivation to me to study hard. My computer engineering course, physics, I was just literally just studying um, the electronics and circuits book, textbook. It was quite complicated in that, but if that's the result, I mean, you can make science amazing, awesome, just very useful for humanity. So that's a great goal. Wow.